it so hard You, but we've been through I miss you And you can't lie, you miss me too If I roll through Before we get into today's video, I just want to make a disclaimer to say that this video is not for the weak. Also, I am not bashing anyone, which you're still going to think I'm bashing anyway, so it doesn't matter to say this, but this video is not to bash anyone, to get anyone disrespected or disliked. Let's get into today's video. So I just know y'all going to love this video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about YouTuber Aslia Williams. So if you're interested, like, comment, and subscribe, turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into today's video. First and foremost, let's do a little rundown on who she is. She is a social media influencer with over 700K subscribers. She has two channels, I only watch one, which is her vlogging channel. And I used to be subscribed to her vlogging channel. I am no longer subscribed anymore. And we'll get into why later on in the video let's just start so i was a faithful fan of her i really loved her content i was subscribed and like literally i would refresh youtube to see if she posted i'd just be so like uh when is she gonna post there's nobody good on this app other than her i used to be like you know what i'm saying a subscriber but then it seemed like once that money started pouring in, she changed. And we all know how money can change people. Sorry to say it, they might not see it, but we do. Or some people don't want to see it. Or some people just sincerely don't see it. But I saw it. And this is just me talking about it personally, respectfully, as a viewer or as an ex-viewer. Uh, my thoughts and opinions on how she changed, in my opinion. What I mean by changed is, I mean, she just started getting flashy with everything. She started, well, for one, it was cool when she moved into her first apartment. That's always an exciting video. I love watching videos like that. It gives me the motivation and it just excites me. I love seeing people level up, especially in their own apartment. That's a big step right there. So I was excited for her. I'm like, oh, she gonna have her own apartment. She gonna decorate this and that. She's no longer gonna be at her parents' house cool but after she got that first apartment like i said she just i feel like she started getting flashy with her money without even noticing it not like literally flashing money but you know basically just splurging and being unrelatable so eventually after she got her first apartment i believe she was there for a year or a couple years maybe a few I don't really know all that, but I know that she had her first apartment for some cool minute. And then after that, she started moving from apartment to apartment. And it was cool. It was like, okay, she leveling up to her second apartment. You know, she's moving on to bigger and better things. But it just kept happening. Just seeing her keep moving and just basically being unrelatable now compared to what she used to be. It just gets overwhelming when they start moving. They keep buying really expensive things it just gets really annoying it's cute the first and second time yeah wow you got your apartment second apartment cool but third fourth fifth sixth like how many times are you gonna move we get that you have money she's young i get it maybe she just wasn't satisfied it could get overwhelming for the viewers yeah whatever then after she kept moving from house to house she eventually started switching from car to car and it was just really overwhelming like i said it's like getting your first apartment you get your first car and it's like cool cute she got her own uh first car I still watch videos like that, although I already have my car. I still watch videos like that because it's just very motivating and it makes me want to keep going watching other people. And it also makes me happy to see other people accomplishing their goals and their dreams. But when it just is a cycle, it kind of gets overwhelming and annoying. It just ruins the content and it just ruins the viewer's point of view. So like I said, she was switching cars. We're gonna go over all the cars that she has been through. But four years ago, she got her first car. It was in 2019 of March on the 4th. Uh, and she was age 17 when she got her first car and it was a Honda Civic. Then not only did she get her first car, she was already starting to be flashy with this first car. I just brushed it off. She bought it straight cash. It came with the wheels already on it. When she bought it, she ordered new wheels. She took it back to Honda 
where they put on some new rims, just extra. But like I said, I brushed it off, it wasn't a problem. So three years later, she ends up getting another car. She just got a Mustang, which I still didn't care that much, but she got her second car. Cause I'm like, cool, you know, she's just upgrading from a Honda to a Mustang. And if you know me, my dream car is a Mustang. I love Mustangs. <laughs> I live across the street from a dude who drive a Mustang. So to see his car every day, it's motivating me to keep going. But a Mustang, it was green. It was dope. She called it slime. I thought that was very unique. And I loved when she drove it. Like, I just be like, oh, she's in the Mustang. I could tell. Like, I love Mustangs too. <laughs> so, you know, she got her Mustang at the age of 18. From this part, I believe I messed up. When she had a first car, she ended up getting a Mustang, which caused her to have two cars. She didn't get rid of her first car just yet, I don't think. I think she kept it, so therefore she had a Honda and a Mustang, and sometimes she was driving either or. I was still watching her, still subscribed, but I was confused, I'm just like, you're so young, you're only one person, why do you need two cars? It was bothering me too. This has nothing to do with the video, but she was driving the Honda more than the Mustang. Uh? That would just really irritate me because I wanted to see the Mustang. <laughs> I don't know how this story unfolded, but somehow at some time she ended up purchasing the same car that she had for her first car, which was a Honda Civic. But I don't know how that came about. I just know that she ended up buying that car again. Then she ended up getting rid of the Mustang, which broke my heart. I was just like, I can't even watch her no more. Like, I really just love that Mustang. And she just sold it like it was nothing. And she knew that was a dumb move to sell. And then after she sold her first Mustang, uh, she was just left with the Honda Civic. And then she ended up buying another Mustang. Huh? This is getting ridiculous. At this point, I was so over it because just all the cars is unnecessary. Switching from car to car. And I totally understand. Like, it's 50-50. It's annoying. But I understand because you're young. And not all the time do most people want to stick with the same car for years. That's me. I will stick with the car for years. But some people just want to experience different cars. That's cool, but it just got annoying to me. After she got another Mustang, I don't know if she currently still has this Mustang or this Honda Civic. I don't know. A year later, she ended up buying a Mercedes-Benz C300. And by this time, I was already unsubscribed. I'm just like, once she bought that second Mustang, I was gone. Scoop! I just stopped watching her because I just really didn't care. She, she just got another car, which was a Mercedes. It was just overwhelming and I was over it. Not too long ago, just over a month ago, this year, she just bought a Tesla Model 3. And I'm just like, yeah, I, th this is where I drew the line. I'm just like, I gotta share how it feels, just building up. If you don't like it, you could have been clicked out this video right now if you're still watching, hey. It's just really ridiculous. She went through two Hondas, two Mustangs, uh, Mercedes, and now she currently has a Tesla. And not to mention with her jumping from house or apartment to apartment, she just recently moved back in with her parents. Now, it's nothing wrong with that at all, but you know what I'm saying? After doing all that apartment hopping, just for you to move back in with your parents is just ridiculous and it shows you how crazy young people run through money don't ever let that money get to your head because that will lose you views and subscribers at this point in time i just couldn't relate i mean if i really wanted a flashy car i could get it i'm just not gonna work my ass off for it because i don't <laughs> care to that's not my dream i just wanted a car i was grateful with anything I do on a Mustang whenever it comes whenever it's right God will let me know but I just can't relate to people who just keep buying expensive things it just gets tiring and it's just like cool we know you have money just be humble not everything needs to be shared and I'm not saying she's not a humble person she's a very humble person if you watch her I just recently got back into watching her I just watched her most recent video of her 22nd birthday. It was an all right vlog. It wasn't the best, but it was cool. But I don't watch her like I used to, like faithfully, because it's just too much. And lo and behold, she goes out and buys a Tesla a month ago. And that is where she currently is. And she is now living back with her parents. So really was all for nothing, if you ask me. And it just frustrates me that people can't 
stay humble when they get a little bit of money in their possession and it just makes you not want to watch i love watching humble people especially people who are just now coming out on youtube but i love seeing people who only got a hundred something subscribers they're still humble but once they start getting to the bucks they change and i stop watching them and i could name so many youtubers that have done this they would be real humble and just be relatable and then once that money hit they're a whole different person they act like they never shopped at walmart all these stores like girl you know the struggle stop acting like that and i'm not saying osley is like that i already ran down what i felt about her all content creators are different they're different people so they're gonna act differently some of their egos get the best of them some of the money that pours in for them gets the best of them it's just it's uninteresting so that's what i wanted to run through i just feel like she got a little too flashy cars after cars apartments after apartments moving from state to state i just couldn't keep up anymore that's what this video is about but this is not to disrespect her <laughs> I still watch her. I'm still gonna view from time to time. I'm not subscribed. I don't plan on subscribing anymore, but you know, she still got good content. But these are just my sincere and honest opinions and thoughts and feelings um, on what she brings to her YouTube channel for content, for her viewers. These are just my honest opinions and thoughts. Yeah, you can feel how you want to feel at the end of the day. I do not care about your opinions. These are just minds. People are entitled to their own opinions. This is a somewhat free world. Freedom of speech. People can say what they want to say. Make videos about whatever they want to make videos about. So if you're bitter and you're going to be bitter about this video. Anyways, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys understood my opinions and thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay crazy.